Hey youngins, Papa Doe's here. We're going to do a recipe for you children today. And it's called the Fluffernutter Sandwich. If you've never had a Fluffernutter Sandwich, you're missing out. So here's what you need for your Fluffernutter Sandwich. You need some peanut butter. Doesn't have to be this skippity doo dah stuff. But just whatever you like. And some of this. If you don't know what this is, if you like marshmallows, this is like liquid marshmallows. Really good stuff. If you don't have some of this stuff, have your mama pick it up for you at the store, your daddy, whoever. So let's get started. We're going to show you two recipes today. This is just the first one. So you get one of your spreader thingies. Make sure it's not sharp. You don't want to be using something sharp. Get your peanut butter, take one of your pieces of bread, and we're going to put that peanut butter right here on the bread. And I know you're thinking, well, that's just a peanut butter sandwich. Well, it's not. You just watch this, watch this here what we do. So we got your peanut butter, and you open up your liquid marshmallows, and you get some of that on your spreader thingy, about the same amount as your peanut butter. And we're going to spread that on the bread right here. See that? Just like that. Super easy. So then, you take your piece of bread. Look at that. Got your fluffernutter sandwich right there. Let's give it a shot. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's a good sandwich right there. Yummy. All right. We're going to do our next recipe. So our next recipe is going to be a left-handed fluffernutter. So what you do for your left-handed fluffernutter, you put your bread over here in this hand. Take your spreader thingy. Get you some more peanut butter. And this time, you're going to put your peanut butter over here on this side. And then we'll get over here and do our liquid marshmallows. And you put your liquid marshmallows on this side. Just like that. Then, there's your left handed fluffernutter. Super good. Oh, wow. I kind of like the left handed fluffernutter better than the right handed fluffernutter. Mmm. That's good. But don't just take my word for it. Hey, Brandy, come here. Which one you like better? She likes the left-handed one better. I'll have to agree with her. So give that a try. Really, really good. So now, before we go today, I'm going to give you youngins a really good tip. Now, if your mommy and daddy tells you to clean your room and you go in there and you take all your clothes and you shove them under the bed thinking they're not going to know what you did, that's the oldest trick in the book. They're going to know exactly what you did and they're going to look under your bed and see all them dirty clothes. So here's what you do. Here's what you do. Make sure they're never going to find them. You take all your clothes, grab them all up, go into the the laundry room in there, open your washer, put all your clothes in that washer and shut the lid. Never going to find them. I know that's a big word. Ask your mama how to spell it. It's never going to find them. In fact, I think it starts with an N. So, all right, that's your tip for the day. 
and make yourself fluff another sandwich, whether it be left-handed or right-handed uh, sandwich. Do them both first, see which one you like better. I think the left-handed sandwich is much better. So, you young ones be good. We'll see you later.